Now, let us create our very first application on Elastic Beanstalk. Go to AWS. Then, sign in to console. And search for Elastic Beanstalk. Now, we can set our region. Since I am in India, I am selecting Mumbai. Now, create an application. So, we can give an application name. So, I would like to give it as my first app. Then, we can give the platform. And there are a list of platforms out of which we can select. So, since we want to deploy our app using Docker, I'm selecting it as Docker. And let us select Docker running on 64-bit Amazon Linux. Now, sample application, create application. So, as said here, this will take a few minutes. So as you can see here, using Elastic Beanstalk AP South 1 and this as Amazon S3 storage bucket for environment data. So basically, the way it works for our application is whatever the code we are using or whatever the code we want to de deploy onto AWS Elastic Beanstalk, that code should be present in Amazon S3, which means simple storage service. So the code will be in that bucket and the code, the code will be accessed by Elastic Beanstalk from that bucket. So we push the code onto the bucket and that code will be accessed by Elastic Beanstalk from S3. So it is creating one. So we can create other buckets also, especially for our code. But this lines, what it means, means for environment data, it is using this particular bucket. Environment data means the AWS resources and all the background supported uh, resources, whatever are being created for our deployment, all that data is being stored in this particular S3 bucket as shown here. So it also internally creates many things. So it created auto scaling group policy. It created CloudWatch alarm. It created load balancer listener. So the use of Elastic Beanstalk is we don't need to configure all these things for ourselves. We can just deploy our app. All the underlying things will be taken care by Elastic Beanstalk. So it also takes care of our environment health. Currently it is green, which means the health is okay. And then successfully launch the environment, my first app N. So the environment is created. Let us just refresh this page. And yes, we can see this. So this is the link for our app. If we click on that, yes. Our sample application is deployed onto AWS. We can deploy our own application instead of the sample application. But basically, it has just created a sample application for us. Now, what shall we do is, we shall be creating an S3 bucket inside which we want our code to be. Then that code will be made to access by the Elastic Beanstalk so that the code in that particular bucket will be deployed by Elastic Beanstalk. 